Sid Zweigbaum down on the field with the Mustangs victorious coach Ed Hoddle. A 42-28 win in the opener. Uh, coach, you guys got out to a big lead, 20-7. to uh, Then they actually take the lead in the halftime. Uh, what did you guys talk about at the half? Well, it was just a matter of settling down, trying to get, get our run game figured out. Um, you know, we were able to stop them from running the ball, you know, early. Um, we had to get some things figured out, you know, coverage-wise, and, and I think we, you know, I think we were able to do that um, and get enough stops when we needed them, which which was important. And then, you know, obviously, you know, the, the touchdown on the off the interception was huge. So, um, you know, hats off to those guys. You know, the cool thing about this was we faced a little bit of adversity, um, and, and we were we weren't the ones leading the charge. It was the seniors doing a great job, keeping everybody up, keeping everybody positive. You know, I don't think that we ever really doubted. You know, where we were in, in, in the game and that we had the ability to you know to close it out which which fortunately we did as a coaching staff I mean you guys get all those takeaways last year you had 40 you know you got some big parts of that coming back but do you really expect to get you know six interceptions or, or a million turnovers that seem like a game I mean was it nice to, to get that rolling early and go man we might just do this every game you know for a while well I think that kid threw four touchdown passes so you know what I mean? It's 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 a little bit of tit for tat there. Um, you, you know, that young man, he's a freshman. You know, that that kid's got a bright future. So, you know, I think our you know our experience, we were able to pick on him a little bit, and and, and he put some balls out there that we were, you know, fortunate enough to get our hands on. Um, you know, would I love to have six every Saturday? You you betcha I would. Uh, Corey Petrick moves from the outside to the inside. Now as a couple of those guys, Ray Zante is gone. Brady had a great year last year. Uh, looked like he made the transition as easily as he, he's uh, made everything else look for about the last 15 games. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a football player. And, I, you know, I've talked about this in the past. He's just one of those guys that, you know, he just loves to play. And it, it doesn't matter where he plays. He just wants to play. Um, and, and when you play with that kind of passion, you know, moving, changing positions, doesn't bother you that much and you know he you know he's he's our guy in there and and you know I'm excited to see you know how he continues to progress playing on the inside uh, late in the game you guys got the run game going I mean they knew you had to run you knew you're gonna run to kill the clock you guys got it with about a little over seven you get it down to 230 it's a third and 19 in midfield every football game in the world you run into the line the guy goes down you got to punt and play defense what, what was going on when, you know, he mounts it outside and, and, you know, how amazing of a play was that in, in an obvious football situation where you're not really trying to get 22 yards for the first down? Sure. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just imposing your will. You know, our line did a great job. Jane Art obviously, you know, broke a tackle, you know, got outside. Um, you know, that's what you want to see. You know, if you're going to compete in the MAC, you, you, you got to be able to run the ball and you got to be physical and you've got to get hard yards in the fourth quarter. And, um, you know, we struggled early to run the football. Um, you know, they did a great job mixing in some different fronts on us and, and things that we hadn't hadn't seen. And, you know, that's kind of what you can do in, in first games, you know, uh, without having a film exchange. But, you know, they did a good job. You know, hats off to those guys. They've gotten better every year. That, you know, and that's a good football team. So, um, you know, being able to get hard yards late is going to be really important. But you, I mean, in that situation, you guys are, are preparing to, to have to get one more stop. You're up by seven. Yeah, I mean, we were talking, um, you know, we, we weren't even going to run the punt team out. You know, we were figuring we were going to get the fourth down. We're just going to burn, you know, burn the second time out there. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we were able to pop that, pop the long run. Well, Coach, uh, you know, some stuff to clean up with the turnovers on offense, obviously, and it doesn't get any easier next week. What do you guys have to do to get ready for Albright? And, uh, you know, what, what things do, do you worry about with them next week? Um, we got to be focused on us. You know, we, we've got to clean up, like you said, you know, the ball security issues. Um, you know, we had some mental mistakes, you know, throughout the game. We've got to be really focused on, you know, what we're doing to improve um, and, and how we're going to execute next Saturday. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much. All right, Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. Stevenson wins 42-28. to